Well, if you've been out to eat lately, you've probably noticed that many bars and restaurants are pretty short staffed. We thought this would be a great time now to check in with one of our favorite local business owners to see how things are going. Linda Dershang is the owner of popular spots like Linda's Tavern and Oddfellows Cafe, and she gave us an update on how things are going right now with COVID. I thought it was so awesome that when you you want to see the vaccine cards, mm -hmm. you sat in front of the door. Like I, I, that picture of you is so awesome. I just I had to say that. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, all right, so overall, right now. How is business going with COVID, with all the changes we're seeing? The business has been overall really good. In fact, we are having record uh, sales on the days when we can fully be open. We still are unable to hire enough people to, to be open at a couple of our businesses. And I know that that's a, a nationwide situation for a number of reasons. Yeah, actually, I saw that picture you posted on Instagram where you said they taught me how to work the door because we just don't have enough people. Is it difficult to find workers right now? Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah. What do you and, think and it is? When, when is it just so much going on? What, what do you think the cause of it is? I think it's a combination of things. Um, I think that there are people that have taken this time to think about their lives and, and make changes with their, with their careers, their jobs. I think there have been people that have been afraid to come back into the service industry. There are people that decided that they might want to take a little bit of a, I guess, time off. You know, it's, I think it really is a combination of things. Yeah. Has the pandemic changed the way, maybe permanently changed the way you'll do business from here on out? I think we're still trying to figure that out. With cases spiking right now and going, having to go back to wearing masks indoors with my management team, we've really been trying to figure out what we're going to do this fall. I mean, I, I don't think any of us know, or will there be another shutdown? Um, are more people going to get vaccinated? Um, are there gonna be new strains coming into the United States? So there, there still are just so many, so many unknowns. Yeah, like you said, there are so many unknowns, but the things we do know is that if we mask up and stay at a distance apart, that mm -hmm. it lessens the chances. And I was at King's recently, Mm -hmm. And I and I love the outdoor eateries. How have those helped? I mean, I, I hope that they that the city continues to let them continue because it, I feel safer there when it's outdoors yeah. sometimes. And how has that helped your business? They've been really amazing, and and I think that they've really created this community feeling on so many of the streets. You know, yeah. especially Ballard Avenue. You know, if we want to be more of a pedestrian friendly city, having the street seating and the energy it creates, even though I realize there are fewer parking spaces, but maybe there should be fewer parking spaces, quite honestly. So I think the streeteries are fantastic and I hope that we get to keep them much longer than we're dealing with <laughs> yeah. way after COVID, it, when there is an after COVID. <laughs> if there is. No, I think they're great, especially in a town like Seattle where we don't always have the best dry weather in in the winter. I mean, I sat out in that either either the wind in the rain, so it was great. You know, I love your establishments, but what can other people do that they want to help small businesses right now? Um, go shopping, go eat, uh, <laughs> just go, go spend go money. spend money. Go spend money. Yeah, I think that really that's that's it. What about being patient? I noticed some people you know, get frustrated when things take a little bit longer. I mean, oh. have you, you know, noticed that? No, I feel like, uh, I feel like people have been really overall so lovely in the businesses. And I'm hearing that from the servers. I mean, there are uh, occasionally there are people that are impatient or don't understand or, or don't want to understand some of the rules. But I, I think overall, we feel lucky to have had so much support from our community. Thanks to Linda for that.